there and welcome to Movers and Mints Daily for August 22nd, 2022. My name's Goldie and I bring you the top most popular Solana NFT projects over the past 24 hours every day and I introduce you to a popular upcoming mint. So before we dive into it, I want to let you know, remind you, I'm not a financial advisor, all right? So please do your own research before investing in any of the projects we talk about or just in general. Never be willing to put up more money than you can afford to lose. And also, subscribe. It really means a lot to me. I put a lot of effort into this every day, every single day. So like this video, drop a comment, share it with a friend, and uh, we're going to get going. So in the top five today, uh, we have a lot of familiar names, but a very, very surprising one in the number one spot. And I'm really excited to share it with you. And a popular upcoming mint that is moving up the ranks in the upvotes on the drop calendar. So let's hop into the top five projects over the past 24 hours. And starting with number five, that's gonna be Vandals. Now Vandals has been around for a bit now. They keep hovering between one and five, but they're consistently in that top five. Now, we have seen a little bit of a dip in the floor price. We'll take a look at their analytics real quick here. You can see it was peaked at about that 14 to 15 range, kind of oscillating there. Now it's dropped to that 10.45. Congrats to them on eclipsing that 100,000 all-time uh, volume mark because that's a pretty impressive mark and uh, they haven't been around for that long. They've done 3.3 thousand in Solana in the past 24 hours and that is just about what they did uh, day over day, you know, compared to the previous day. And that goes to show you these top five have done some big numbers because usually when we get, you know, in, in the fifth most popular project in a 24 hour period, maybe they're in the 1000s. So we got some projects doing big numbers over the past day. So speaking of big projects doing big numbers, we're gonna move on to number four, and that's the OK Bears. Um, creeping back, that floor price is slowly getting back up there, 63 and a half, as you can see. And a huge congratulations to them. They eclipsed officially the two million Solana mark uh, all time. Really incredible stuff. Um, three and a half thousand in Solana over the past 24 hours and it's a 127% increase. Personally, I think people may see this as the last opportunity to get in at a lower floor price because now they've experienced their dip and now it's to the moon. Who knows, they could crash tomorrow. I'm just giving my two cents. Like I told you, I'm not a financial advisor. All right, let's move on to number three. It's another one that we've seen. At the top, they're starting to dip just a little bit. And when I say dip, that floor price is higher than we have seen. So I just mean in terms of the ranking in a day. Um, you can see it's been a steady trend upward with them. Uh, they did peak at a 3.8, 3.9 uh, floor price. They're down to a 2.8, but still impressive considering they've done 3.8 thousand in Solana in the past 24 hours. It's about a 19% increase day over day. So this project continues to impress me. Uh, in my opinion, they kind of came out of left field, but with a lower floor price like that, cranking out high volumes, really impressive stuff. Let's move on to number two, D-Gods. Now, about D-Gods, first of all, they just cracked the 300 floor price. So they're back, baby. They had dipped for a little bit. When I say dip, like 250s, you know? Uh, taking a look at their analytics here. Let's see, all time. Recently, they were at, you know, their low point was 230 so you know take that for what it is but um with the announcement of utes i think this has maybe in injected a breath of fresh air into the project through utes people are really talking about frank d god and the d god project so um i'm not gonna lie i applied for the utes program so hopefully i get accepted i don't think i'm that big enough so you know probably not but hey gotta be in it to win it right so wish me luck there. But 302 is the floor price right now. Big numbers, 10.6 thousand Solana in the past 24 hours. So that is a 293% increase day over day for the D-God. So big stuff happening there. Like I said, I think Utes may have some to do with it. I'm not sure, but you can take a look for yourself. The D-Gods are the premier blue chip Solana NFT project. Now, I teased it. In the intro, 
This is a project that is very silly. Shocking that it's number one. We're gonna take a look at it. It's called ABC. Obviously, well, maybe not obviously, maybe it was an adult, but it looks like children's art. They've done 11.8 Solana since they've minted, which is less than 24 hours ago, which is wild. It's a floor price of 1.25 right now. So that just goes to show you, they're pushing a lot of these NFTs. It's wild stuff here. They've done you know, just over 11,500 in Solana since they've minted. Remind you, it hasn't even been 24 hours yet. There's no websites. It's not run by anybody. It's just a goofy, silly project that apparently has struck lightning in a bottle. I have no idea. You know, sometimes silly, goofy stuff like this has, a, has an impact in the community. I, I don't know what to tell you. It's funny. It's silly. Don't take themselves too seriously. I'll read the description real quick. ABC Abracadabra, a collection of 10,000 immutable NFTs, 0% royalties. Made to remind you of how fun things were when we were kids. Before growing up, let's never stop having fun. Could be a rug. I don't know what the heck to think of this one, but hey, it's not that expensive, so maybe worth it to hop in. I don't know. So there are 1,100 of them listed. It doesn't tell you the total supply. You can't go anywhere to figure it out. No idea what's going on, but that's why I thought it'd be fun to share with you this number one project today. You don't see too many like these around. So that's gonna wrap it up for the top five Solana NFT projects over the past 24 hours. The links for all of, all of them that we talked about will be in the description below so you can take a look and explore on your own. Except for this one, I'm just gonna link to the Magic Eden page because I don't know what to tell you on this one. All right, so let's move on to a popular upcoming mint. We like to do this on a daily basis. Now, I always like to explain to you my process in going through finding this. So I go to the Magic Eden drop calendar and I filter by the number of upvotes. So upvote is an organic way to promote a project. You can't bot it because you have to log in. So I've done most of these here. We are down to SciCats. So 1,857 upvotes for SciCats. It's Seems like a genuine project, and it does seem pretty interesting. I'm gonna uh, head over to their Magic Eden page right now. Looks like an August 24th launch date, so you got a couple days if you're interested. 19 UTC uh, launch time. Psycats is a collection of 8,888 randomly generated psychedelic cats. Each cat has a rarity level and a combination of several different traits. The idea behind the SciCats project is to create a community-driven ecosystem whereby SciCats NFT owners can reap the rewards of the platform. The platform will generate revenue through various games and utilities developed by our dedicated development team. All software is created in-house by our experienced core dev team allowing for seamless integration between all aspects of the SciCats project. So, in my opinion, that's one hell of a description. I don't think you really can have any questions after that they're telling you what they're doing how they're doing it and who they're doing it with so i like that description not many nft projects provide you a detailed description to the point like that so heading over to their twitter page it um Psycats one they have 36 and a half thousand followers which is pretty darn impressive for one that's going to be launching soon um and if you look at their pinned tweet, owners of Psycats can stake their NFTs and play cat racing games. So that's where that game functionality comes into play. The points attained represent redeemable rewards allocated to every NFT in the ecosystem. So there's still a chance to get whitelisted. You can see the art kind of trippy. Obviously, it's all based around psychedelics and all that stuff. And lastly, we're going to take a look at their Discord. Now, I have in the... Um, Discord, I have it pulled up to the latest announcement, which was two days ago, because I think it uh, kind of sums up the project. Um, they're going to soon release uh, the first version of the platform of the website. There's a white paper you can check out that is going to go into way more detail than what we're covering right now. Um, you can still get whitelisted if you're interested, and they're excited that they got to the top 20 upcoming projects in Magic Eden, hence that's why how I found them. Um, so, you know, their community is strong. There's 8,900 of them in there helping get that, you know, devote this project up. And then they have a sneak peek of what their racing track is going to look like. So I thought that was good to show you as a high level kind of overview of the, uh, the project so far. So Psycats, all the links in, are going to be in the description below. So if that does 
Pique your interest, you can go ahead and check that out and see if you can't get whitelisted, get in on that mint. And that's gonna do it for today's Movers and Mints Daily. So thank you for your time. I hope I bring valuable information to you on a daily basis. And if I do, subscribe, like the video, drop a comment, let me know what you think. Share this with one of your normie friends. Let's get them in the Solana NFT space. Now's the time while it's down. Bear markets are for buying, baby. Uh, so I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for your time. My name's Goldie. Check it out from Frisco, Texas. It's August 22nd. Summer's not over and I'm still asking. When's Solana summer? See you tomorrow.